Last month, we started a discussion of the new and innovative types of membership possible because of RI's increased flexibility. This is a way for you to attract new members to your club who probably would not have been able to become traditional members. We all talk about wanting more young professionals in our clubs, but how many of us have considered creating a special membership category to better accommodate the needs of this group of prospective members? This might mean special dues amounts or relaxed attendance requirements. Attendance minimums are no longer required by Rotary anyway. How about a seasonal membership? Many clubs in certain areas lose members in the winter months and see them return in the spring. Rather than members taking a leave of absence or quitting the club, seasonal membership offers a positive way for them to stay involved and connected to the club. But what about setting up an ambassadorial membership where the member attends meetings in their winter home and brings back good ideas from the club they have visited? I have a few fun project ideas from Florida that might work up here. How about a beast of an event, a wild game dinner? Or a Bustin Clay's shoot fundraiser and barbecue? Or my favorite, an armadillo race? Interestingly, a club I know is in a tourist town, and many of the members are busy during the summer and can't participate in club activities. But in the fall, when the tourists depart, they become involved again. The key is to think about what works to meet the needs of our members and prospective members and how our flexibility can allow them to stay active and involved. Next time, we'll talk about the various new types of clubs specifically designed to help us grow our membership. Mm -hmm.